Good morning, you two, and you, me, and Nicole. What is up? So, I already had breakfast, but we're gonna be doing a full day of eating. Haven't done it. I have a very cool day planned for today. It's a Saturday, and one of the few times that me and Nicole are actually gonna be social for part of the day. We're social with us, so we're actually gonna leave the nest. So that's exciting, so I wanna make sure to get that on camera. Um, but just had my breakfast, so I did a scoop of, we did some frosted chocolate cupcake. You guys know, use Kevin to save 15%. And then I also did a scoop of cake pop as the creamers for my coffee in my thermos right here. So, I mean, I fill this pretty much like three, yeah, two thirds of the way with like coffee. And then I put a little bit of water in those. It's like a, like a little bit watered down pudding. You pour the coffee in and then you're pretty good to go to have your protein coffee. So 50 grams of protein and pretty minimal fats and carbs. Macros here because it's a full day of eating because it's been forever. But your boy's bulking um, up to like 22 pounds from um, stage weight because I think it was like 192-ish carved up and now I'm like waking up around 214. Technically today it was 217 but I had a ton of vegetables yesterday. We went out to Effie's which is a Mediterranean place so I just get a bunch of grilled chicken, skewered grilled chicken, fantastic. And then I like double down on a shepherd salad with no dressing. So that's like cucumbers, tomatoes, and it's humongous, but it's good. Um, and then I'm gonna have a Gatorade Zero, have a little bit of pre-workout in here. It's a resensitization phase strength block, so low volume, low reps, um, resensitizing my body to volume. So there's a four week phase, and then I'll be into my next training block where we're gonna bring up the volume, bring up the pumps. It's gonna be fantastic. Um, so pretty much, yeah, that's breakfast. Got a cool day. Goals for today in terms of nutrition. Um, calories are gonna be about 2,900. Um, protein, I'm aiming for a minimum of 250. Uh, so 250 grams. I uh, probably want my fiber at least 40 grams because I go for like 14 per thousand calories, so that should be like about 40. Um, and then the other things, bum, 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 trying to keep my fat around the 60-ish amount. So that's like 0.3 per pound. So that's kind of like that minimum you want, especially when you're in a surplus. Um, and then the rest is gonna be carbs. So trying to get the carbs way up because when you have, when you make your surplus from carbs, you have insulin, um, so that's anabolic. Um, also, you're gonna have your full glycogen stores. Um, so carbs, when you have them in kind of excess, they still will be anabolic for you. Protein after you hit your requirements, getting extra isn't really gonna be anabolic or do much for growth. Um, and fat, kind of the same. Um, but carbs, because it's the best fuel for training, that's gonna keep you performing better in the long term. Then also you have that insulin response, which is correla correlates to the exact amount of carbs you have per day. Um, but like, I mean, glycemic index, all that, just kind of messes with the rate that you kind of digest those carbs. Um, so yeah, a little food for thought right there. So that's why I go with the high carb approach to my surplus phase. And that's also because uh, Renaissance periodization Love their stuff, so I did a little reading there. A little learning, but I'm gonna head to the gym. It's a little bit later than usual, but gonna go do this training, come back, have a little post-workout meal. Actually, I'm probably gonna do that on the way back, so I'm taking this camera into the car, um, and then I'll see you then. All right, so just finished up some training in the car right in front of Bagel Bazaar. That rhymes, so I had to say it fast, but um, this is the place that I've been going to a lot. I've been going in here, ooh, lighting. I've been going in here a lot lately. I think probably the past like two weeks, like 12 times I've probably come here right after a workout. So I get a, this sandwich is something. I'll show you what it looks like, but it's called the triple X. And uh, I get it on a French toast bagel, but it's six egg whites, uh, chicken breast, and a little bit of cheese. And yeah, on a French toast bagel. Don't knock it till you try it. Like, it's kind of like, think of a cinnamon bun with like cheese on it. Tastes way better than it sounds, but I'll see you guys in there. There it is. So the way that I track that is because I get some questions on like how do you track these things when they are like uh, um, not on my fitness pal. So pretty much just typed in French toast bagel. It's relatively sizable, so I went with a higher calorie option. I found one for 310 calories. They say it's six egg whites, chicken breast, and cheese. When I order it, I always say, uh, please just make it one slice of cheese, because I'm not sure if they throw like four slices on there and make it super cheesy. Um, so then you just do a normal uh, cheese slice, American cheese, um, not the low fat stuff. You gotta, it's the 70 per slice. And then I just guess it's like two ounces of chicken, 
um, and then bum, 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 the 6-8 weights. So I think it's like 500 calories or 600, and that's going to be right here. So a really good post-workout meal because it's high in carbs, and it's enough for my body weight to be a protein feeding, which tends to be, I think for me, it's like 40 to 60 grams of protein is what I want, which I think is like 0.4 to 0.6 grams per kilo body weight. Um, so pretty much like your total protein, you want to spread that out to like four to six feedings. Um, so that was my post-workout meal. The only thing that is not like a perfect post-workout meal is because there is a little bit of fat. Um, I think there's like eight or 10 grams of it. Um, usually you want a high, high carb, high protein meal um, and fats kind of slow down digestion as well a little bit, um, but still really solid because it's like less than 10 grams of fat. Um, but yeah, so that's what I ate and the reason I really have it is it's delicious and I don't have to focus on like just vegetables and um, really high satiety foods because I'm not dieting anymore. 2,900 uh, is pretty reasonable for me. It's not really getting my weight moving too, too much because I'm in that maintenance phase, a strength block. I'm not really gaining much muscle tissue at this point. It's kind of like resensitizing. So kind of want my weight to stabilize or not really gain too much. And if you see the back of my office, we got some new decor. So we got Jungkook right there, we got Elon Musk there, and then we got Kobe right there. And those people are just three people who really um, motivate me. Kobe wasn't a big fan when he was uh, in playing basketball actually. <laughs> so it was like Team LeBron. Um, but um, once in his post-basketball career when I started hearing the stories of his work ethic, that's what really made me uh, admire him and like look up to him. So what he was able to do, and he even said, he was like, I'm not the most athletic guy in the game. My body isn't the most built for basketball, but he put hours of work in before practices and games. So I find that it's really cool to see how much work I think he had. And you can see how successful he was in his post career getting an Academy Award um, because he carried that work ethic from the gym, from the basketball court into other areas of his life. And I resonate with that message. Um, Elon Musk, He's the man, you know I love Tesla, um, and he works super hard. And then Jungkook, the mem member of BTS, the one who lifts, uh, they, as a band, they work really hard, and they're always putting out like new music and concerts, and they dance like Mad Men. So I really respect the group, and also Jungkook lifts. And he's always like, they're putting on all this effort and um, the work done, and he's always smiling. So that's why I respect those three people. That's why they made it to The Office. Um, so what we're doing is I'm in the office. It's Saturday. Just going to get some things done. Make sure to respond to all my clients. Shout out to Dan G. He hit a new load today. Super, super happy. Um, and then, so going to do a little bit of work here. Make sure that everything is taken care of that needs to be done today. And then we got to take the little Yoomster, the Yoomster, we got to take her into the vet. She was puking a little bit, um, last week. She'd been acting fine, but just, uh, has a puke a couple times. Not not a good time. So I'll take you guys with us for that. But for now, I'm gonna get some work done and then I'll check in with you guys in a little bit when I eat next or when I do something. And we're off. It's about 11 and we're taking this little chicken nugget. Oh, hello. We're taking this little chicken nugget to the vet to see why she's been puking. But I mean, the good thing is she hasn't been acting weird. It's just like randomly, oh, there's some, uh, chocolate soft serve with Reese's Pieces inside of it on um, the bed. So that wasn't a good time. So we're gonna see what's up. Hopefully she's feeling okay after, but she's cute anyway. Say hello. And that's just not about it. See you guys in a bit. All right, so Yumi is okay. She just got a little bit of uh, famotidine, so something to kind of settle her stomach because she may have gone to something in the back of the yard and they just said bland diet. Then we came home, we ordered some, um, some hefty bags, but Amazon, didn't even wrap it. On the other side is our our address and the uh, shipping label, but they literally just slapped the sticker on. So Amazon's doing some next level things. But um, Yoomster, say hello. Me and Yoomster are gonna chill, get back to work. It's like 12 now. Um, I have a call at like one, and then I think we're gonna get ready to go to the mall because we're gonna actually go we already went and left the house today, so this is already like a rare occurrence. But, so we're gonna go to the mall in a little bit. So, time to work. All right, we're gonna eat something right now. So, I have two scoops of the chocolate frosted cupcake, PE science, and it's looking like that. Wow, terrible lighting. Yeah. I threw down some kicks on it, which I learned today. Well, actually I learned the last time I looked into the pantry. This is, Pretty much meant for toddlers um, and me. 
Um, so right there, it says, flavors your little one will love. So apparently I'm a little one. Little one? Hey, that wasn't very nice. But yes, um, so having this, so I just usually mix it up like that. So I have 30 grams of kicks, and then I have, um, uh, so two scoops of protein, so that's like 50 grams. I'm knocking this out because we're going to be going out to eat later. I don't know where we're going. It's pretty high in protein, but it's not super high in protein. It's not like me just getting a bunch of like chicken breast or something, but it's delicious. We go there a lot. It's one of Nicole's favorite places, and she's right there. So I'm going to eat this up. It's going to be delicious. But again, people like to see you eat on camera. It's a thing, apparently. So I'll eat one of these. It's falling. Awesome. Delicious. So see you guys in a little bit when we probably leave the nest. What's going on, guys? Hello. So we are about to be heading out to the mall, which also has a movie theater. So that's kind of why we're going there. But we're going to be eating. It is almost 2 o'clock. I think we're gonna be eating what we can kind of almost call dinner in a way. I don't know. So we'll, we'll get to the mall and then we'll decide when we're gonna eat. But we actually have a 515 reservation to see a new movie that came out yesterday that actually one of my clients is the lead animator for the background. Shout out to Mike. There's his transformation. Most jacked animator there is. But we're gonna be seeing Onward, which I'm really, really excited for. I love Pixar movies and animated movies. How to Train Your Dragon 1 was an amazing movie. Um, and uh, I think one of my favorite movies of all time. I'm not sure if it's my favorite animated movie, but it may be Mulan. I think it's my favorite Disney movie. So let me know what yours is, or just agree with me because Mulan was great. Um, but getting ready to go, and I want to show you guys what I got myself for my birthday, which is March 11th. So it's not quite here yet, but early birthday gift. Um, so got some shoesers right there. Um, so these are the... I don't know if I'm even hitting them right, but the Nike Air Fear of God, and I really like them. As you can see, I am a, I'm a sucker for neon green, and ever since like high school, I've always gotten, I've always loved neon green shoes, and as you guys, if you've been following me a while, you already kind of know that, because I think all of my gym shoes have been neon Romaleos. So, got these, and I'm really, really liking them, but yeah, I like neon shoes. But we're about to get over into the car and head over there and then just walk around. We have three main goals by going to the mall. One, get dinner. Two, see this movie. Three, check out the Gudetama Uniqlo stuff and see if we can pick up some shirts uh, to train in once I cut them. But see you guys over at the mall. All right, so since I'm waiting for Nicole for a minute as she gets ready in the car, um, I just want to tell you, so I had a call with one of my clients at 1 o'clock. So me and my assistant coach, we got on a call with him because we are like, why isn't his weight really moving, but his calories are set to like 1,100 calories or 1,200 calories. He's like over 200 pounds, but things aren't moving. So we are like, let's get him on a call and really review his food log and talk about it. So we got onto the call, and I guess a couple things. So like you can track your intake, but there's a few little things that you may not be doing correctly, and this could inhibit your weight loss. So I want to give you guys a couple like tips here to hopefully, so you don't run into that problem on your own. Um, or if we ever start working together. Um, but one of the, some of the issues that he was doing was, um, one, wasn't making cardio quantifiable. He would play soccer a couple times a week um, and kind of count that as his cardio, but we didn't really have a way to progressively do the calories we were um, giving him in cardio. So he was kind of like, oh, well, I, I'm sure I'm doing that amount. Um, so you want to make that quantifiable, maybe use an Apple Watch um, and see what your weekly calories or something like. Um, so you can always manipulate that number, whatever you can track. Um, sorry, just turn on the AC, it's hot in here. But whatever you can track, you can then increase as need be. So kind of like when you're tracking calories, you have control over that so you can adjust it as need be. The One of the second things, probably one of the biggest things was he was using raw measurements for his um, cooked food. So he would cook some chicken breast and then he would like scan the uh, container and then he would weigh it and then he would use that scan. When you scan like a raw like chicken breast or ground beef, you're going to be getting the raw, um, so the nutrition for that amount of raw food. But once you cook it, you lose a lot of that water weight. So four ounces of raw typically goes down to three ounces of cooked. So if you track three ounces of cooked food, it's the equivalent of four ounces of raw food. So pretty much like what he was doing was he was using the raw measurement for the cooked food. So there's actually probably one third less calories than should have been used. Um, so if you track three ounces of chicken it's you have to do 1.3 servings or um 
you have to multiply that by 1.3. Um, so I got to let Nicole in the car because the three ounces is actually four ounces if you're going to use the raw thing because the four ounce is equal to three ounces, the same amount of food. Um, so that was the second thing. Um, and then he was also cooking with olive oil and wasn't really tracking that. So we said like, hey, look, use Pam spray, but also with Pam spray, you can run into the same issue. If you're doing five seconds of Pam spraying, um, just give it a little spritzes because they get away by saying it's a quarter second spray, but I don't know who, how many people actually only do a quarter second spray. Um, so those are some things that were adding up to not allowing him to lose his um, projected amount of weight. So now that we are solving those three things, he's gonna be um, multiplying the quantity by 1.3 um, and using the raw um, uh, measurement, or he's just gonna use a, a cooked food uh, log. So just make sure that when you're tracking like cooked chicken breast, you're using cooked chicken breast as the, um, the selection on MyFitnessPal. Um, we're gonna get more control over like how we're tracking the cardio throughout the week. Then the other thing is we told him to try to stock back up on spray, uh, Pam spray, and then also use that like a couple spritzes instead of like chilling on the spray. Um, so hope that helps you guys. That was something that came through um, and hopefully that'll help you guys not have those same issues um, when you're going on your weight loss journey. So now we're actually gonna start the car and get over to um, Cheesecake Factory. What's up guys? We are in Cheesecake Factory, cheat code, delicious menu everything's under like 600 calories and this is probably one of the easiest places to go out and eat and diet at because uh, those all also majority of their options have a lot of protein too so it's pretty sweet um, so I'm gonna get the chicken pasta crap chicken pasta steak Ooh, yeah so I'm gonna get the chicken pasta and the big giant salad and then um, start off with the lettuce tacos. Nicole, what are you getting? Chicken pasta and probably still one of your lettuce. She's not allowed. So I'm gonna eat all those lettuce tacos. But um, yeah, this is like our tried and true. We really like the chicken pasta, but um, I also often go with the grilled steak medallions, which is on like mashed potatoes. It's so good. But it's got a little bit more in the fat content. And if we're tracking today uh, for this video, I want to be as on point as I can be with my fat. So I'll show you guys how that looks. And then where you go. All right, so the food just got here all at once. So we got the tortilla top Mexican lettuce wraps. Um, 250 calories. You want one? I think Nicole's taking one. So I just saved 30% of these calories. And then we got the chicken pasta. I asked for no oil because otherwise it's going to swim in oil. And then we got this giant monster of vegetables, vegetables right there. And hiding under it is some action. There's like a taco shell down there. There it is. You see it? No. Okay, I think you can see it, because I can see it. But we're gonna get into this. I think it's like 1,400 calories or so, but uh, it's gonna be delicious. And then Nicole, show what you got. I got the same thing, but with oil, and you can barely tell the difference. Yeah, Nicole, Nicole needs those calories though. She needs to make some gains, but uh, we're gonna get into this. So we just finished up the Cheesecake Factory meal. That salad is actually a lot of volume. Almost hard to get down, but we finished everything. I had a little bit of bread too, and then Nicole, so proud of her. She actually finished her entire meal. I didn't have to help. So now we are gonna do, that was mission one done. Oh, Uniqlo's right here. So we're gonna see if they have those Gudetama shirts. No Gudetama. So we're gonna take an L on mission number two but we still got a movie to see, and then we're just gonna go explore. We made it to the movie. There's no kind of kids. About to see Onward, so let you know how it is. All right, guys, so last meal of the day, we're at Magnifico's. So you showed that ice cream thing. Yeah, so we are here, we out here, and I got a pint of mixed frozen yogurt, and I got some Spranks on it. Seven servings of sprinkles because I gotta hit my carbs. This is the last thing, this is about 400 grams of no sugar added, fat-free frozen yogurt, so just pretty much carbs, and then the sprinkles are pretty much also carbs. So that's gonna drop us off at the end game macros. Should be about 3,100 calories because I'm about 200 over my baseline, which is 400. So probably that'll be, that red number will be over 600, so that's 200 calories of extra activity or cardio. Um, so total macro, 65 fat, 374 carbs, 260 protein, but your boy was not perfect. Uh, 33 fiber, so should have had some enlightened. Oh well, but um, also Onward was amazing. Uh, I mean, it was it was decent. I don't want to oversell it, but it was it was really good, especially those background animations were were amazing. 
Um, but definitely recommend go seeing that. Um, let me know what you think if you see it. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for hanging with me all day. It was a long day, and I just realized I think every time we had a meal, it was not at home. So that's cool, too. But I'm going to eat this up. I'm supposed to do it now. What about the Cocoa Puffs? Cocoa Puffs? Oh, that counts. counts. I did have a homemade meal, Nicole said. It was um, it was the uh, P Science Protein and Kicks. I'm a chef. But that's going to do it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. This was delicious. I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep it flexible. I'm out.